rescue of the horses. So please. We thank God for them. They're doing a great job. Amen. Amen. Don't be too proud to take some of those faith.
when you go through challenges with your health, your finances, ministry gets serious. When once the church was populated and now it's not as populated as it used to be, ministry get serious. But we have to serve God in spite of all of these things. We can't serve Him only when it's convenient. We have to serve God when it's not convenient. Got to serve Him when things are going well and when things are not going so well. Got the servant when we're blessed and high to favor. And we have the servant when we're challenged on every side. Yeah. Not knowing what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds our tomorrow. All right. Yeah. It's oftentimes difficult to see what's going to come down the road. But sooner or later, one thing is true. Life changes for all of us. Amen. Amen. None of us will stay young forever. The young become the old, and the old get wiser. The young get weaker. But our strength does not lie in our youth. Our strength lies in our relationship with God. Amen. We have to serve the Lord with diligence. We got to get out and give God our best in hard times and in good times. All right. There are no promises here that we're going to live forever. We won't live here forever anyway. We will live eternally with God. But while we live, why don't we live a life that echoes God's grace and mercy? Because there's not one of us in here that can say God has not been good to us. Right. I don't care if you got little or much. I don't care if you got three million or three hundred and twenty dollars in the bank. It doesn't matter. Because God still has been good to us. If you got three hundred and twenty dollars in the bank and your bill is paid, God's name is still worthy to be great. Yeah. How can you say that, preacher? Because I know. Because I've learned how to trust Him. As Paul says, when I've had plenty, and when I had nothing at all, I've learned how to trust God. And we have to learn how to trust God in all seasons of our life. Yes. And it is a challenge trusting God. Because you never know what's around the next corner. Yes. Sickness might be waiting on somebody. Yes. A heart attack. Yes. A stroke. Cats, we don't know. But I know somebody is able to strip us even when those challenges come, and his name is Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So therefore, it behooves us to make sure that we serve the Lord today. Tomorrow is not promised. But we do have today. 
Thank God for this day and our daily bread. Tomorrow's not promised. Here in this text, it tells us to stand fast or stand firm. On this nurse's anniversary, nurses, stand firm in your ministry. Stand firm on what you've already done, what you've already accomplished. All right. Stand firm on the power, presence, and preeminence of God's word. Stand firm. Yeah. The Lord didn't bring you this far to lead you nor to abandon you. Stand firm. Yeah. And whether you're in a nurse's ministry or not, I think this word is going good for everybody. Because whatever you do, you need to stand firm yeah. and trust God every step of the way. Yeah. When life challenges get us in the face, stand firm. Yeah. You might get weak in the knees for a minute, but stand up yeah. and tell God, God, you know who I am. Yeah. You know the hands on my head, you know my strength, you know my weaknesses. God, I'm going to stand on the promises that you've already given me. Because yeah. I didn't come this far by myself. Yeah. It is your grace and mercy that brought me safely yeah. this far. Yeah. And that same grace and mercy shall carry me on into glory. Yeah. Stand firm on your works. You know who knows you had your wife and give tissues to. You know who's just you had to pump. Try to get them to stay here a little while longer. You know who you shot. You know what you've done to be a blessing in the kingdom. Stand firm. Because God is standing with you, not standing by yourself. And we don't do what we do by ourselves. And we don't do it because we want to be braggadocious. We do it because God has given us this gift in earthly justice that we might do this work of the Lord. We work for him through the day and through the night. Because sometimes folks are praying for you, you don't even know they're praying. They're standing on the precepts and promises of God. And our deliverance and our healing is because we stood firm in the face of the challenges of the devil. Of Satan, of the evil one. Because I want you to think that he doesn't exist. Because he does. And he can show up in anybody. And he has a way of showing up when you least expect him to. But hold on, saints of God. You've been standing on holy ground. Keep on standing. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting. Because the Lord did not bring us this far to abandon us. No, no. He's not sitting in the bleachers. He's sitting right with us. He's dependent on us to lift up his name yeah. Yeah. as we stand firm on his word. The text says, be immovable, yeah. always abounding in the work uh -huh. yeah. of your Lord. Amen. When you're doing a good work, yeah. don't give up, don't give in. Give God your best. Yeah. And in giving God our best, 
means that I want to surrender what he's given me back to him. Amen. Right. He gave us life. Give him your life back. Give him your troubles back. Give him your sicknesses back. Give him back everything you've been doing in this life because he's the one that can have it. Yeah. And then I'm talking from experience. I ain't just following my chops. I know what it is to face that big sea. Can I tell you something? Went to the doctor of me. I said, well, what's the PSA? It says undetectable. Mm. All right. That don't mean it's disappeared. Okay, okay. It just is. Right. Are treasures in the kingdom. Yes. I 
kind of works he has worked in us yeah. is a treasure. Yeah. Knowing that your life well. is meaningful, powerful yeah. in the kingdom, you can hold on yeah. to God's promises. All right. Because God did not break us yeah. this far. Let us know you want to be coming here. The door. Whenever. 
God, you know that we are a biblically based church. And we believe the Bible. We believe that there's hidden in the oil. We believe that there is fire in the oil. That the oil can make a difference in all of our lives. And that oil is good for anointing. So God, let it be used to anoint the sick, the shut in, the healthy, the wealthy, the poor, the weak. Let it be used, God, to be a blessing in everybody's life that uses this oil. And then God, we pray for those families that are bereaved, that have suffered great loss, matriarchs, patriarchs, they have gone on in, God. And Lord, we tell you thank you for their lives, their ministry, their hopes, their inspirations. God, thank you for making a way that all as we prepare to leave this place but never that presence. Go with us, stand by us, keep us in perfect peace, harmony. Let us love one another as you have loved us in spite of our faults and failures. God, we tell you, thank you. Now, God, we leave this place in peace. Have that own way. God, keep us. And now, the other day, we keep us from falling and us falling from our throne. With exceeding great joy, be power to meet that majesty. Henceforth, that bell more. All the saints of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen.